Okay, so if we use something called a step up transformer, then we can increase the voltage on the output. If we use a step down transformer, then we can decrease the voltage on the output. But why would we want that? Well, the power station might be producing 12,000 volts, but your home needs between 120 and 240 volts. The power station is probably a long distance away, so there's going to be a lot of resistance in the cables resulting in huge losses of energy on the way. So instead, we use a step up transformer to increase the voltage to around maybe 400,000 volts. Then as we reach the town, we use a step down transformer to reduce this back to around 11,000 volts for local distribution. And then we reduce it again down to around 240 volts for our homes. By increasing the voltage through a transformer, we reduce the current. Energy loss in a cable depends on the electrical current and the resistance of the cable. If this cable has, for example, 5 ohms of resistance, and we try to send 10 kilowatts through it at 240 volts, we would lose about 87% because the current is high but the voltage is low, and so the losses are huge. But if we were to send this at 400,000 volts, we lose a tiny fraction of just 1% because the current is low. So we can transmit power further and more efficiently at higher voltages. As a side note, the reason homes in North America can have either 120 or 240 volts is because they use a three-wire system where an additional wire is connected to the center of the secondary coil. Therefore, we can use just half of the coil to get 120 volts or the full coil to get 240 volts. However, most of the world uses around 230 volts. And for this, they use just a two-wire system, which is a much simpler design and allows more power to the outlets. And this is useful, for example, to quickly boil a water kettle. By the way, I have covered residential electrical systems previously in great detail. Links down below for that. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about electrical engineering, and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.